Well, that's actually a hilarious question because when I started this, I've been a technical evangelist now for Microsoft for about eight years, eight and a half years now. And uh, we actually changed our titles when we first started to be technical advisors because really we're there to talk to people that don't have a relationship with Microsoft through a sales partner, through a through a uh, support contract or, or anything. It's literally just people who have or want to have some kind of a connection to Microsoft. There was no place for them to go. And so a technical evangelist role is someone that is a, a public figure, someone that's approachable, someone that can talk in your language and understand where you've been, uh, that uh, you can empathize with and they can empathize with you um, and uh, understand what your problems are, to be able to solve your problems. So um, I would say that what they would think that I would do probably have to do something with the lines of religion, conversion, stuff like that. Like for me, it's, it's not about conversion to go off to use Microsoft products. It's about helping you use Microsoft products you're already using to use them more efficiently and better. You know, it's, it's, it's funny. I think that people see us as, as the guys who are up there just kind of, when you, when you hear the word evangelist, right, you're thinking, you know, the guy on TV, you know, devil be gone, you know, that whole thing. And, uh, you know, that's part of it, obviously, the public persona and being on stage and delivering demos and those kinds of things. But there's a lot that happens behind the scenes, the building of the content, going in and talking to guys who are a hundred times smarter than I will ever be, right? And they're drawing stuff on the whiteboard, talking about these solutions and trying to figure out, okay, what does that really mean? What does this solution really entail? So we do a lot of that, a lot of building story, uh, building and telling stories and, and getting that content. And then of course there's, you know, everybody's like, oh, you get to travel to all these great places and all these fantastic things. You're in a different city, it's a hotel, it's not all, all glamour, I always use a hashtag when I'm on Twitter, Travers, travel is not glamorous, right? You've got the delays and everything else. It's still a lot of fun and a great time, but there's, there's all aspects to the job, the expense reports and everything. But that building content, I think a lot of people don't understand that we spend more of our time actually getting in, talking with our product teams, our engineering teams, and building that content than we actually get to be on stage and presenting and showing really cool stuff to people.